Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. So tonight, it is about 7.30 Texas time, and I just want to do a quick little video because I was perusing the Twitterverse and I came across this nice little tweet from Coinbase where they state Uniswap is launching at Coinbase.com and the iOS and Android app within the next 15 minutes, this was two hours ago, you may need to refresh your app to properly buy, sell, convert, send, receive, or store Uni. We will update when Uni is fully live. And it's already live. I've already taken a look into my account and I'm logged into Coinbase and I'm gonna go all the way down to almost the very end, Uniswap. I'm gonna click on that because some of these are just there but you can't do anything with them. So Uniswap and there it is, buy Uniswap. So we know it is available. And uh, let's see, up 10%, uh, 343. So uh, not too bad for one night. Now we're looking at CoinGecko. I think it's down in the 60s, somewhere around there. Yeah, about 340. So with this listing, I mean, maybe tomorrow you'll get that uh, Coinbase bump, but Coinbase isn't the powerhouse it used to be. Uh, I think we know exactly where everything's going with that. Back in the day, when there was only three to four assets on Coinbase, it was a big deal when something gets listed. But now with what we just saw with, with Uniswap uh, taking over Coinbase, taking over Kraken, taking over other exchanges because they have so much volume, my question is to everybody, is Coinbase still relevant? I think it's still relevant to people who are new to the space and they need something very simple to do just to figure themselves out. But I think as time goes on, Coinbase may become just a distant memory. Who knows, it could be like the Blockbuster that you used to have down the street where you go down and you would rent VHS tapes or DVDs. I'm not sure. I just find it very odd that Coinbase kind of prides itself on really doing its research and digging into the project and only listing, you know, the best of the best, things that actually have mainnets, things that have uses, and there was this, this huge criteria that they put out for it. And this was the last one. This was the last one the blog post on July 31st of uh, this year, 2020. And they said, these are the ones that we were considering. Now, now UMA was listed, so that's just one of them. I think uh, Algorand, not for sure. But I mean, they just pretty much just talk about, you know, how, how they do it, how the whole process works. And, you know, they said that we're very stringent about what we're what we're talking about and what I found very interesting in this article which was just listed uh, tonight September 17th is um, not about what it's talking about you know about Uniswap and we know it's already listed but it's the very last part which is for some people this is not surprising but I just like to point it out it says here Coinbase holds Uni tokens and an equity interest in Universal Navigation Inc the company developing the Uniswap platform Coinbase intends to maintain its investment in Uni for the foreseeable future and maintains internal policies that address the timing of permissible disposition of digital assets, including the Uni token. So you have to sit back and wonder, out of all these different projects that are out there, that are in the top 25 or so, I mean, you have like a Polkadot, a Cardano, Tron, OKB, Neo, a VeChain, and the list goes on. Why aren't they listed? What was the whole process? What was the thinking behind it? Or was it just, hey, you know, we own some of this. We should probably list this and then just see how it goes. So I uh, just want to do a quick update and just get everybody's opinion because I look at this and um, things just look a little shady. Now, I'm not going to get uh, down anybody's case. It's all a business. We are in the free market, correct? Anybody can do whatever they want to. However, it would be nice if you lay out a criteria and you say you're going to do something, just do that thing that you're supposed to do. And uh, that's the big thing. So let me know what you think in the comments section. That is it. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. I'll uh, put the last two that we did today. And that is it for tonight. So thanks for uh, sticking with me. Very short video. Just thought it was very interesting how that all came about. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.